What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now usually I don't upload on Saturday because of course it's always Monday to Friday. In this video I'm going to show you guys something really cool which is this really really cool logo impact effect that I'm going to show you guys right now. So it's a really cool one and it's like really quick and just also like really in your face if you want to like make your logo appear for example if you don't have an intro yet or you just want to have a new one for like the new year or whatever it might be. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to properly make this one in Vegas Pro 18. So if you guys are excited make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching and I would say let's get started making this really cool logo impact effect right after the intro. All right, guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18 as always. So the first thing that you need is a transparent version of your logo, meaning that it's a PNG format that you can see through it, that it doesn't have any background. So once you've dragged that in, we also want to drag in a nice background. I'm gonna use this one, it looks pretty tight. So now if I drag this one on top of it, they're both in the screen, but the logo is way too big. So now we're gonna shrink this down to the final position of where the logo is gonna look like in the screen. So let's say, that I'm going to make the logo this big. That's perfect. So now what we need to do is we need to also add in a little bit more of texture onto our logo. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to drag in this texture. So now that we're going to make this texture onto the logo, we're going to drag in this texture below the actual image. So it's a track underneath it. And then we're going to put the compositing mode of the logo to multiply mask. And then what we need to do is go to the track motion icon. And we're going to just resize this guy a little bit to make sure that it is nice and textured so i'm gonna re-shrink this guy just a little bit like that and then i'm gonna also make sure to make a little mask so it is only showing on the logo which is right here okay so now that we've done that what we need to do is we need to have a png version of this photo so we're gonna just select one frame in our timeline then we're gonna go to file we're gonna hit render as and then we're gonna pick an image sequence so that we're not gonna render out an entire video so now we're gonna pick image sequence and we're gonna pick of course png which is right here and then we're gonna call this for example transparent textured logo and then we're going to save this onto our desktop and then we're going to hit render and it's going to make an export over transparent image and now we can actually move on to making the actual intro now that we are in a new project we dragged in a nice black textured background as, as you can see i added in this nice fade in so now what we need to do is we need to animate our logo first so i'm going to drag that into my timeline right here it is so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make this guy zoom in all the way into the screen like really fast so how we're going to do that is we're going to click on the event and pan crop icon right here first we're going to make sure that we will start off at the beginning of the timeline and we're going to zoom in all the way now i'm a little bit lucky because right here i have this little transparent part where i can just zoom in to really really tiny and then just position that into the transparent part so you don't see any yellow or whatever coming through and then we're going to move up one two three four five six seven eight frames and then we're going to hit right click and we're going to hit restore so if you play it back right now we made our animation but i think it's a little bit too slow so I'm going to make the keyframes a little bit closer to each other. I'm going to say, let's go ahead and pick one, two, three, four, five keyframes and just drag this guy right there. So let's play it back. As you can see, it's really, really quick. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to add in this really, really cool smoke effect that you can also find on YouTube. So right here, we have this smoke explosion. So I'm going to line that up where when it actually happens right here. As you can see, it looks really, really cool. Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. All right, so I just wanna take a quick second to talk about Production Crate. This is not sponsored in any way. This is just from personal experience because I've been using Production Crate for almost three years now, using their effects, their explosions, their lower thirds, their sound effects. Everything that you can imagine is on the website and they're literally adding new stuff day by day. And actually on their Instagram, they also show you how they make it by using some really cool behind the scenes clips on their page where you can see like how they create the explosions and how they model like 3D stuff. It's 
really, really cool. So if you guys are interested in getting your high quality effects transparent without any backgrounds, make sure to check out the link in the description. Over 90,000 people have already checked it out before you. So make sure to go to the link in the description, become a member of the community where you can ask your questions about editing, about these effects. It's really, really cool to bring your videos to a next level. And of course, they're not only like lower thirds, but they're also transitions that I use a lot. Make sure to hop over to the website if you're interested. I would say let's continue with the video. And then I'm gonna also add in this astonishing dust particle flying effect right when the explosion kicks in, right here. Only the effect looks like this. We like this really nice lens flare, particles flying and all that. So let's time that up. As you can see, that's a really, really cool impacting one. And then of course, we're gonna also add in a sound effect. We're gonna also time that up and make also lower the volume. As you can see, that looks really, really tight. The last thing that I would, I would recommend is to make the logo float a little bit, you know? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the beginning of the text icon or the text file actually. And right when here, when it's on the final position where it landed, we're going to press on S to cut it right here. And then we will animate the text right here. So then I would just go and start at the beginning of the timeline right here. And then I would just, for example, move this guy up just a little bit, create a keyframe right here, move it a little bit downward create a keyframe right here as well place it a little bit up and then just leave quite a lot of space between each keyframes because otherwise it's not going to float it's just going to shake really quick the more space you have between your keyframes the more of a floating look you will have so let's play it back right now in total as you can see that's already quite a little bit too fast for me because it's yeah it's floating of course but i would like to have it like a little bit less so what you can do is you can either hold left control and you can stretch this guy all the way out that makes it also slower as you can see that looks really really cool and this is how you can make this really cool logo impact i know it's a really really quick one but i just you know found this one online and i thought like you guys might like it because of course you guys are always into like transitions making intros and you know instead of like using templates and have everything already made for you so it's actually pretty simple how you can make that just go ahead and insert a nice background a little explosion sound add in this smoke effect and make sure that you just time it up with the sound and then also this effect when it comes in. And then just animate the text just a little bit, make it zoom in, make that little float. And that is how simple it is. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. This is how you create this really cool logo impact effect in Vegas Pro 18. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, make sure to reward it with a like down below. I'll catch you guys next week. Brand new videos and of course on a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial this Monday. So thanks a lot for the continued support and I'll see you guys obviously next week.